All right, uh, I'm going to paint this PMAG to match all three of my ARs. Um, if I had a rifle to do, I'd do that, which I will be doing in my Ruger 1022 stock here before too long. I'll do a video on that. But in the meantime, I'm going to paint this PMAG just like I have my rifle. So stick around and I will show you. All right, so for this particular pattern, uh, colors, I have uh, chosen brown, tan, green, and black. Uh, I like to, if I'm working on a black surface or a darker surface, I start um, with, depending on what colors you're working with, I'll go dark to light. Um, but anyway, so for this one, uh, we are going to start with the brown first. So I'm going to shake that up. And then I'm going to spray a little bit on my cardboard here and use my sponge to dab with. So let me shake this up and uh, get some on the cardboard and we'll be right back with you. All right, I got some brown. So I literally, this is a dish cleaning sponge, obviously not used um, for dish cleaning. Um, so I'm just going to dip a little bit in there, kind of get all the thick stuff off. And then I'm going to just come into the mag. And start randomly placing dots. And as you can see, it, it kind of gives it a nice, unique pattern. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, cover the mag or whatever you're painting. Don't get too carried away. Spread it out kind of nice and evenly. Uh, one thing that's nice about this is you can uh, keep going with it and separating colors until you really find the way you really like it to look so anyways um that's going to be our first layer i'm just going to do this side for the example so uh let's get to the next color well tan next same thing just get a good dab get a little practice run there and start applying um you're going to want to try to find spots like right here where there's not anything yet and place that there um, now you don't have to do it exactly like that but the more you spread it out the more you cover your main color code which would it will naturally be to begin with um, just the better it's gonna uh, even out and and uh, and look more it's gonna look better now I'm not going for perfection on this I'm really just trying to break up a pattern and help things camouflage so Anyways, um, I got two more colors to do. I'm going to add a little bit more in here um, just to break it up. Oh, see, like that? I don't like that right there. That doesn't look good, but no worries. We'll be able to touch it up with other colors, and it's super easy to, to touch up any kind of fuck-ups you might make. So, Coat. We got a green. It's kind of an old-school green. Not quite like World War II era green, but... Something kind of kind of similar, but a little bit lighter. Um, for this color setup and pattern, I'm going to do a little bit less of the green. I'm going for more of the darker colors and kind of the tan to really break it up and contrast it. And then using the brown and green to kind of just make it pop and look a little different. So right there is good. And obviously I got one of the rifles sitting right here finished. Now, this upper receiver was tan. The rest of the gun was black, so it does look a little different there. But, I mean, as a whole, the gun does carry a, a, a unique pattern to it, and I really like the way it turned out. So that's what we're going to match with the mag. All right, so even though the, the mag started out black, black is the most important color in this particular setup that I'm doing because, well, first we're just going to go through and do some black dabs just a few not a bunch just a few and that really helps kind of break up the patterns and give it a little bit of a, a design i like how it pops off the top of all those lighter lighter colors um and then i'm probably going to go through here i'm not going to do it on camera just to keep it shorter and do a few touch-ups and make things look a little bit different and then one last step uh which will be to really break up the mag completely into chunks which i will show you in just a sec Okay, so I've gone through and done a few touch-ups as I feel necessary. Starting to get some character here. But now we're going back to black again. Um, and this, for this, I don't know, I guess I'm going to call it pattern or style. Uh, is how I like to do it for certain rifles, not all. 
And I know this has been a quick video, but I mean, guys, it's simple. It's spray paint and a sponge. I mean, you, I mean, you could do this in fifth grade art class. It's pretty simple. But anyway, so I got my black back. I'm going to really get it on there. This is the part, in my opinion, that's really going to break it apart. I'm going to draw almost stripes light or just lines and everything to really break it up into chunks. So, you know, and I'm no particular pattern here. I'm just going to be putting a lot of black areas in here to really break it up. Make it look different, make it pop apart, separate things. Um, and like I said, no particular... Uh, design or pattern and you know what I think I'm gonna stick with that and uh, once it dries we'll have the glare of this light on here uh, I'm gonna finish this mag and then I will show you uh, with it inserted into a rifle with the same uh, pattern it, it'll it'll look good anyways we'll be back in just a moment all right and we have an amazing finished piece of art <laughs> nah it's all right uh like i said i'm just looking to to make things break up and blend in um let me pop it on this rifle here just to give you a good look and overview I feel like that blends in fairly well with the rifle and the way everything looks. But yeah, it's that easy. I mean, you just got to get some spray paint and a sponge. And, you know, if you want, you can do more. You can do the, the barrel itself. You can do your, your gas tube. But, I mean, hey, I didn't do the optic but and the mounts. But I have on other rifles, and I think it looks great, and it works well. So... Anyways, simple way to paint your rifles or paint whatever you want. Thanks, guys.